this one is a little bit easier as you can see here when you have a square it's always that it touches the x, -x axis in just one point which is h and the h is also your axis of symmetry and also the coordinate of your vertex so for example i will give you y is equal to i will give you the easiest one x minus 2 in a parenthesis squared then i have i know that this one i have my um my zeros my root which is only one x is equal to two because x minus two squared is equal to zero then i can solve this equation it will become x is equal to i will get x is equal to two okay my ver my axis of symmetry is always your h also so it's the same it's x is equal to 2 according to this property and then your vertex is always your h and 0 because it's here it will it will uh, uh, it's it makes things easier okay so another example is that when i have y is equal to x squared then i know that my root is x is equal to zero because x minus zero squared is equal to zero and i have x minus zero my h here is zero as you can see your your roots are is h your root is h axis of symmetry axis of symmetry oh it's symmetry <laughs> symmetry i i wrote it in another language um x is equal to zero and vertex is equal to zero and zero so if i'm going to put this in uh, in a coordinate i think i can this one if i'm going to remove all of those and then i will put the first one is x minus two i have i have x and sorry Sorry for that. Okay. I will just write my function here. Y is equal to um, x minus 2 squared. And then we know that uh, our axis of symmetry, our root is 2. Then we can put a pointer. There you go. And that is also our axis of symmetry. And that is also our vertex. All at once. Okay. Mm -hmm. Here. Here. But the problem is, what will be our uh, y-intercept? So when in this one, when x is uh, equal to zero, then we have four. So our intercept here, how could it be four? Because we have negative two squared is four. And then y intercept will be, where is that now? There you go, will be four here. Point there, and this is the axis of symmetry <laughs> sorry for that axis of symmetry then if i will put my pen here 
this is the axis of symmetry. So if I have four there and I have two steps there, then my next point will be this one. Why? Because it is an axis of symmetry. It uh, divides the, the parabola into two equal parts. Then you can see that our graph will look like this. It's not, it's not perfect, but you can see that pattern. Hmm? Yeah, it, it, it wasn't. I, I'm going to show you with my calculator. Here is my calculator, my screen, as you can see there. How to find those uh, we have uh, found a while ago. Then I can put... The, my calculator is Casio FX 9750. If you have that, then you can push uh, G-Solve or F5. Then you will have some uh, alternatives here. For example, I want to find the root. Then I will pu push F1. Then I will get uh, X is equal to 2. Did we get 2? I guess so. I hope so. <laughs> and then we have... The intercept dissolve again and then we have the, the y intercept which is f4 and you can see that it is y is equal to 4 hmm? and then if you want to see the vertex dissolve again g solve then you will see the minimum there as an alternative f3 then you will get this 2 and 0 Yep. Then we we did with our sketch. We did right. This is as I've said. It is not that difficult. This part is not that difficult. Maybe that the third one and the fourth one are more difficult than this. Hmm. Forgot to tell you that on my next video I will be discussing the third one. It will look like this. We'll see if we can find something. Oh. Yeah, see you around.